The news is lying. FBI HRT did the hit on the guy, and they found anti information in the room and photos of the woman in the Middle East. So he did not kill himself. The FBI hostage rescue team killed him because he was firing on them. So he did not want to be taken alive, and uh, reportedly he did it. Uh, and it was uh, anti for crap everywhere. And other things I'm not supposed to mention. That is directly from the hostage rescue team, by the way, Paul. Paul, this morning I called my Army Special Operations Command sources. I called some CIA sources. Uh, again, thank you so much for joining us. So much is happening. I even cut off the intro liner. I'm Alex Jones. We're broadcasting worldwide. You may notice that for six months we've been telling our radio affiliates that we have a new clock coming out where we actually have a, more airtime than before, but it's the most popular talk radio clock out there where the segments are 10 minutes long instead of six minutes long, 12 minutes long, and 18 minutes long. They're all just 10 minutes long. Uh, and even our stations are very happy about that. Again, Alex Jones, your host here. Biggest gun massacre in U.S. history. And I got an analysis memo by a high-level CIA individual. Let's leave it at that. Uh, simply questioning the attack. The attack is very, very strange. I'm going to wait to put this out until the next hour. And I think I'm just going to also post it to Infowars.com. Uh, but everybody I've talked to that's worked in the CIA or is working at the CIA believes this is basically leaning towards a left-wing false flag attack. Uh, and we're going to be looking at every uh, angle of this. They say, look at Operation Gladio in Italy, which is a CIA operation. And he said, so sadly, we have to consider the possibility this could be staged by the shadow government. And you think, well, logically, if it's hitting a group of patriots, then that would look bad on Obama and, and Hillary and the globalists. But that's not how this works. The media is all blaming the Second Amendment. And they also want to get right-wingers to go out and start attacking people or have the claim that there's going to be a revenge attack out of this. That's what I've been smelling. Uh, Paul Joseph Watson joining us from London, England. Uh, Paul, the reason all the evidence points at the left is they're the ones saying October Revolution, November Revolution as you wrote last week, the Drudge Link to. They're the ones saying it's about to happen. They're the ones saying go out and kill white people. White genocide's good. They're the ones that have Islamic attacks happening every day now in Europe, the U.S., and Canada. So you look at the season this is in and who was hit, and as you were saying before the break, this guy wasn't a white supremacist. He was, you know, his, his Filipino girlfriend and uh, reportedly was like a liberal and didn't have a bunch of guns. What do you think, Paul, as of right now? Well, I don't know. I mean, that's the problem. Everyone wants to confirm their political biases as to who to blame, and it causes a lot of disinformation. Like, I'll give you an example. There's a video um, at an anti-Trump rally, and it's a guy dressed in pink with a pink NASA T-shirt, wearing actually wearing a pussy hat, as they did at the Women's March. And everyone on the internet right now is claiming that this guy is the shooter. Now, in a different video clip, it looks a bit like him, but you can't tell because the picture's not high quality enough. That's the real shooter on the right, the guy on the left. The picture's not high quality enough, but there's another video in which a woman calls him Steve. Steve. So, I don't know, make your own mind up. To me, it doesn't look exactly like him. But, but let me say this, Paul, say. because the left always lies and puts out disinfo. We don't counter them that way, but a lot of the public's sick of it. So if they're going to make stuff up, well, then the patriots are going to start doing it too. Yeah, and there's been a lot of that today. You've seen originally the wrong person was being named, and in fact other websites report on that because it was, I think it was the former husband of the woman that they were searching for. He was a left-winger, but he wasn't responsible for the shooting, but people jumped to conclusions and named him as the shooter because they wanted it to fit their narrative. Now, that is as bad as someone like Hillary Clinton who literally came out and said that we should put politics aside in a tweet, and in the same tweet in the same sentence, blamed the NRA, and then went on a whole rant about how we need to ban silencers. Okay, you can watch videos on YouTube. This is probably a, a fully automatic gun responsible for this massacre, if not one that was modified to become fully auto. Now, I'm not a firearms expert, but there's a ton of videos on YouTube which show that those silencers, if you use them in a fully automatic weapon, literally will melt. But it has nothing to do with that, and yet she's hijacked it within hours to push that political agenda while in the same tweet saying put politics aside. Absolutely despicable behavior. 
And of course, they're the same ones who come out after every Islamic terror attack, Alex, which are more prevalent, especially in Europe now, and say, let's just carry on as normal. Oh, but when this happens, when it fits your agenda, they want laws passed within minutes. So there's no intellectual uh, consistency whatsoever. We don't know who's re responsible. You know, it could turn out to be it wasn't left wing. It wasn't right wing. It wasn't an Islamic terrorist. It was just a mindless act of evil. It does happen sometimes where you just get mentally deranged people who are hopped up on whatever SSRI drugs. You know, the Batman shooter, he claimed he was motivated by... All right, let me stop you. Wanted to become the Joker. Let so me stop you. We've got uh, we've got breaking breaking news uh, here, Paul Watson. Uh, that's absolutely critical, absolutely key. Uh, I have gotten this. And no cameras, please, guys. N no cameras. This is from a law enforcement source, and the information is the news is lying. FBI HRT did the hit on the guy, and they found anti information in the room and photos of the woman in the Middle East. So he did not kill himself. The FBI hostage rescue team killed him because he was firing on them. So he did not want to be taken alive, and uh, reportedly he did it. Uh, and it was uh, anti for crap everywhere. And other things I'm not supposed to mention. That is directly from the hostage rescue team, by the way, Paul. And I'm going to delete this information now. Keep going. Well, obviously, that's huge. That's huge if it turns out to be true. Yeah, hey, Paul, because Paul, Paul, this is from high-level CIA right here. Let's do it directly from, and this is from the hostage rescue team. You know I don't make sources up. Go ahead. No, all I'm saying is that I'm going on the information I have, and I don't know. No, no, absolutely, really absolutely. I'm just saying this is big breaking news. This is huge. In fact, you go ahead and take over the next four minutes. Uh, you host. I'm going to run in here and get with the writers. Go. All right. Basically, we've had the biggest uh, mass U.S. shooting in history. Again, they say it's a fully automatic gun. Hillary Clinton's out within minutes on Twitter, politicizing it, exploiting it, the very thing that she accuses the right of doing on a routine basis. She tweeted out that we need to put politics aside, while in the very same sentence she complains or politicizes it by blaming the NRA by blaming silences, which it's her political agenda to have banned. You go on YouTube, there are videos, there are firearms experts who have said the same thing. You put a silencer on the end of a fully automatic gun, it will melt. Nobody's going to do that. It's pointless. It has no connection to this attack. Yet Hillary Clinton immediately chose to make it about that. Of course, you've got the calls for gun bans in the immediate aftermath of this attack. As you see, in every attack, the Pulse nightclub massacre last year, which was carried out by an Islamic terrorist who said he was doing it in the name of ISIS, whether they were directly behind the attack or not. The media ignored that. Once again, they made it all about gun control. So, of course, unless the weapon was purchased before 1986 as a fully automatic firearm in Nevada, and in fact, I believe across the entire country, it would be illegal anyway. If it was a modified semi-automatic gun, it would be illegal anyway. So, again, criminals and terrorists will find weapons, whatever the law is, because they don't abide by the law. We saw that in Paris with the ISIS massacre back in November 2015. Strict gun control area, Paris, the whole of Europe is, especially in the major capital, capital cities. Of course, they obtained semi-automatic weapons and massacred, what was it, over 200 people. We went to Molenbeek. We visited, reported from Molenbeek. You can get a semi-automatic weapon on the streets of Molenbeek if you have the right connections as an Islamic terrorist within hours for 500 euros. Belgium, complete gun control as far as I know, at least very, very strict. Certainly semi-automatic weapons are completely banned. So again, it makes no sense. We have terrorists stabbing people in France almost on a weekly basis now. We had another attack in Marseille yesterday killed two women they use knives do we ban knives so again the big speculation right now as we delve deeper into this and as more information drips out and it is dripping out on a minute by minute basis was isis involved at least uh, at a distance in this attack 
The whole claim from prominent experts, from non-experts across Twitter is that ISIS claims responsibility for everything. People are making jokes about it. Not true. They don't claim responsibility for everything. Are there some ragtag wannabe Islamic terrorist groups that claim responsibility for things that aren't anything to do with them? Yes, but not ISIS. They have an official propaganda agency. That's why it was reported widely in the media. And they got from that propaganda agency that ISIS was claiming responsibility. And Paul, isn't it, you're on this more than I, isn't it true that ISIS, one of the few things they're actually honest about is when they do an attack, like they said they did the chemical attack, even though Obama didn't want him to say that because he wanted to blame Assad. I mean, generally, when they say that they did an attack, they did it, right? Well, yeah, and the Associated Press admits that. They don't claim links to attacks, which they're not at least loosely linked. That's what the That's Associated right. Well, listen, Press I just got this from the people involved in the hostage rescue team. Because in the FBI, they use military people for that. We have directly the guys that were there, that he was a Antifa guy. He wasn't even really ISIS. They were just using that as a cutout. What the aging process is, is when the cell replicates, we lose a little bit of our telomeres. Telomeres are the little cups on the end of our chromosomes. Basically. And when it runs that out, you start dying. Secure your DNA force today at InfoWarsLife.com.